Okay, so you should be able to see my screen and I'm sharing the um, Canva window. So tonight we're talking about communicating through design. Um, we're going to learn the basics of Canva. Canva is an application that you can use to make flyers and announcements for church or, you know, for your other um, businesses or things like that. But, excuse me, we're going over just a few basics tonight. And I'm going to ask people who are in the audience in a while, it'll be on the screen over there, but otherwise you can follow along while I share my screen. And for you all, I'm very excited and I'm naturally a fast talker. So if you um, can't understand what I'm saying or are having trouble, please just unmute yourselves and say, you know, Sister Asia, can you repeat that? So let's go in here. I made you a pose. Okay, so canva.com, um, this website, if you all been able to create your account, it's really an online tool that we can use to communicate. So really quickly using your reactions or whatever you want to, how many of you are already um, using your ministry to, or using design for your ministry? Anyone in here already kind of making flyers or announcements for things? No one. Okay, so we're all. This would be about your first time doing something like this. You can unmute if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. So Canva is a really good place. If you're already doing it, it'll help you to kind of step your game up. And if you're new to it, it'll really give you something to enjoy and to have fun with. So Canva.com. Um, you can make it. Or excuse me, sorry about that. You can design anything in here. If you see the home page and you're following along with me, it has a lot of buttons. Um, I know when I saw design anything, for me, it felt overwhelming. But I will say you don't have to be overwhelmed. It just means you have a lot of options. So we'll start with the um, basic features. We're on our home page. So if you go in this left column, I can kind of break down what they have for you. So here, you know, it gets right to it, all your designs. If everyone on here is new, you won't have any designs to look at. But once you start using it either for your ministry or for yourself, it'll be a really easy place where you can go find what you need um, after you've already created it and you don't have to go hunting around everywhere. And I'll move through these kind of quickly so we can really get to the heart of it, which will be making a flyer or design. Um, Canva has a feature where people can share a design with you. So I know sometimes in ministry work, you know, the announcement goes out that the clothing drive is going to happen on Tuesday night at five o'clock and then something changes and now it's happening on Tuesday night at 4.30 and you want to get the word out and you really loved whoever's flyer, but you didn't quite, um, you weren't able to catch them to make the change. So when you share designs in Canva, it allows other people to share with you a design that they created with your account. So if you have access, you can just go in there and say, oh, I'm gonna change this for this 5.30 to 4.30. And that way you're able to save time. You can still keep their creativity, but you have some control over changing things. So it gives you options like that. And again, if someone shares a design with you, they can just email you and I'll show you guys later how to do it. And you'll get an, a request in your inbox and you can get the design. Um, another item over here to the left is the brand kit. And the brand kit is um, a really great option. You can upload logo. So your church logo, if your church has a certain font that you use, you can um, use that font and upload it in here. Now, Canva has a free version, which is what all of us are on, and it has a paid version. The paid version is probably less than $15 for the entire month. So for $15, you can make a flyer for every Sunday sermon recap or an announcement for church. And you know, you don't have only thing you have to worry about is printing costs. You don't have to pay someone to design it or do anything like that. So that's one of the benefits of Canva. It is, you know, and I'm not paid to say this, but it's a really affordable option to help your church ministry. And they have larger accounts. If you're a nonprofit, if your church is an officially registered nonprofit, you can get a discount, I believe even a year free through Canva. So they have nonprofit accounts, they have accounts for educators and different things like that. So they really um, are on top of making sure that everyone has access to these really cool design tools. So you'll notice, like I said, you can upload your logo or font. You can also choose brand colors. So, you know, your church, you, you guys tend to have colors. If you know the color code, you can enter the number here. If not, you can drag this wheel um, and kind of determine what colors you want to use or what works best for you and save it here. 
And we'll get back to that later. So even though overall this is a paid feature, when you see that crown and that upgrade, that means it's paid, the um, color palette does normally transfer over to your design account. So that is the brand kit. This is interesting, it's a content planner. So I do content creation, it's handy. If you make a design in Canva, you could then connect your social sites to your Canva account and schedule a post straight from Canva. So you made this flyer, you love it, the pastor loves it, and it's announcing the women's brunch, I don't know. All you have to do instead of downloading it, emailing it to someone else, trying to find it on your computer, you can schedule the design that you made in the Canva application. You just have to connect the social media page to your Canva account. So this is another paid feature, but again, for $15, you, know, you can kind of cut out um, the middleman, so to speak when it comes to sharing the content that you create. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory, all your folders. So everything you're using, your uploads, we'll get to that. Um, all your designs, all the things that people have shared with you, they kind of make it easy for you to find it in here. And what I'm gonna go down to, what you see on your screen is the dream team, cause that's what I named it. But in Canva, you can make teams and you can share uh, what you created with someone else. So, I mean, again, I was having some fun. So I named it the dream team, but you can always go in here and change and say um, something like, I don't know, what should I name my team? What you got? Kojic? That's so Kojic of us to just name it Kojic. <laughs> we just gonna be team Kojic. Um, that's the name of our team. And so Canva gives you the opportunity to create teams and to share your designs. So if you create a design you wanna share with your team, you can push the share button. I'll show you later and it'll be right here. You can make folders within your team um, to stay organized. You can make a template. This is the lifesaver. Again, create template. Anytime you see that crown, it's a paid feature. But if you know that every Sunday you're going to take a five minute clip of service and you know the format, you don't want to mess with it, you just change the date um, and the sermon title, this would be an excellent place to make that template. If you know that the women's department is always going to have, you know, maybe they use flowers and bubbles. I don't know. That's different whatever they do, you can make templates. And if you have to step away, someone else on your team can come in and use your template to design the next announcement. So what I like templates for is it allows um, some flexibility. So one person doesn't have to be responsible for the work or the design each time. You can literally pass the baton like, hey, I'm going on vacation this week or I won't be in town. So you need to make the flyers and don't worry, you don't have to do it from scratch, here's a template. So that's how they work. Um, again, people, so you can email someone, literally enter an email in and add that person and they will become a member of your team. And so you enter the email in and they'll get a notification. So we, the Kansas planning team is the only member because this is our account. But if we added someone, they will get an email and they could be added to our account. And what that means is on their free Canva account, like you all have, I could add one of you as a team member you get a notification in your email and then you'd be a part of the team. Anybody want to volunteer? Drop their email in the chat. Yeah. Going, going. Yeah. You doing? Okay, so Pastor Dwight said he's going to share his. Anyone else want to? Just so you can see how it works and you should get an email. I would say check your spam and you'll be able to um, see. And let me know if you're dropping it. Well, let me know, Pastor Henson, if you see anything in the chat. <clears throat> How to get to the email so you would give me the email and then i would enter it in i had a question there was like how do you put your email in to share it and i was saying that you all would give me the email and then i would put it in on canva.com okay can you um share it with me so i'm gonna put this email that's in the chat mm -hmm. okay so I'm going to stop sharing while I enter the email information, but I'll enter it in and we will see if she receives an email. R -O -B -B -S -E. What were the numbers? Okay, Sister Robs, let us know. And I am going to, um, I know you guys can't see the screen anymore because I was putting her information. So I'm going to make her a member and I'm going to send her an invitation. So it says the invitation was sent and I'll start sharing my screen again. Um, so, Sister Robs, let us know uh, before this class is over if you get your invitation 
to be a team member. If there are any other emails, I can go back and add you. Okay, dokie. You also have groups, so. Okay, so we were talking our email in the chat box. I, yes. I, I, I received and I accepted it. Yay, see? So that is how quickly it can happen. If we go back in here, let's see if we can see her email, if we can see her in there. Okay. And then Pastor Dwight is here. We'll do his. Uh, let's go to people. That's better. So we have two members. So it says invited at the bottom, but she's received it. So I'm sure if I refresh, hers will be added in there. Okay. And I'll add one more before we go. No, it goes to your Gmail. So he was asking if he needs to be in the Canva application to get the invitation. And Sister Robs, as she pointed out, she got it in her Gmail, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yes. So you do not have to be in the Canva application um, to get the invitation to a team. So we'll come back to Pastor um, Dwight. But that's how teams work. They're super easy. Um, you'll see here the options. There are settings for the team. So if you go back to people, I guess that's a better example. You can make them a member or an administrator. So it just kind of breaks down um, the level of access people have to what you all are doing. If you just want them to be a member, like they just, you know, make designs and that's it, that's fine. You want them to be an administrator, which means that maybe they're over a ministry or something like that. You can determine how much access that they have. So let's see. Okay, we're doing okay on time. Um, but I want to get to the fun stuff. So that's this column. Now let's go back to the home screen just for the sake of orientation. And excuse me, I'm double um, multitasking because now my computer is working for the in-person people. But we go back to the home screen and wait, let's go all the way home, not to my designs. Okay, so up here you have options on how you want to search. If you, I break them down like this. The search bar is if you are 100% sure what you're doing. You said, I came on canva.com to make a flyer announcing the back to school program. I don't care about nothing else. So what you'll do is you can type in flyer. I think my computer is, let's see. Yeah, there we go. You can type in flyer, maybe. There we go. Okay, and it'll bring up the different sizing options for you. So, you know, it'll tell you the landscape, art flyer, whatever. And you can go down and kind of see and it'll give you some prompts, but it keeps very much centered on um, what you're looking for. Did you have a question, Brother Banks? Again, if you guys have questions, just feel free to unmute and ask. But that's if you know, that's what I wanna do. I don't wanna hear nothing else. I don't care about your suggestions. Now, if you're on here and you're like, we need something, but I'm not sure what we need, you, I would suggest you go to templates. This is where they really give you a lot of suggestions for what you can do um, to make a design. And as you guys can see on the screen, there are a lot of options. So social media, how many of you use social media personally? Just give me a react or raise your hand or say me. I'm on Going. Facebook. That counts, that is a major social media page. I have, um, I, an think, Insta I have an Instagram account, but I've never done anything with it because I don't understand it. <laughs> but I do have an account. <laughs> we can do an Instagram class next. That actually can and should happen. Um, okay, so yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, you might have heard of that. I think a lot of churches have found themselves on um, Facebook because of the live streaming capabilities and a lot of us saw during the pandemic, it became important to be able to reach people who were not going to physically come to your church. It's even people who would never physically come to your church. So when we make these flyers, I would say to keep that in mind. And that's why Canva is helpful because it has different examples for you to start from. So let's say we went to social media and you're like, I don't know a thing about it. Instagram stories. Okay. So what you may not know is that on Instagram, the stories have to be a different format than the posts you put on your regular profile. But Canva will give you all of these options on um, different layouts you can use. Like these look really clean, you know, modern, um, beautiful, and you can choose one and start designing. And so I'll just show you all. You click on one, 
um, this is a pro version. So that means that when you download, you'll need to pay for it, but that's basically how it works. So this gives you um, free and pro. You can filter it, say, hey, I know I'm not paying anything today. Here's the free version. Doesn't look too bad if you ask me. Um, you have the option to decide, well, I want a free template that has yellow as the color and it really lets you narrow it down. So you can dig really, really deep into Canva. So we won't go that far, but I'm just showing you if you need help and you're like, hey, I have to design for the sake of my ministry, but I don't consider myself a designer, then the Canva templates can really be helpful. Um, especially they have it broken out, social media, marketing, education, that could work for your children's ministry. Thank you so much, Mother Rosa. Um, and things like that. So let's go over learn. Learn is important. And give me one second. Can you log in so you guys can see just with the Zoom meeting information? Um, learn is important because if you're new and you don't use Canva or online applications at all, learn um, will show you courses you can take in Canva. So they actually offer, and they're like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You can learn about graphic design basics, which colors go together, shapes to use, all of that. Uh, how to brand your business. And you guys can see it on here. There are also tutorials, you know, presenting Canva Pro, Canva for Education. If some of you came on later, um, Canva offers discounts for educators, for nonprofits and different things like that. And I was saying the pro version is only maybe $15 a month. So it's well worth uh, what you would pay to outsource the design work. So, yeah, I just need you to put it in for me on this laptop. Um, and pricing, like I said, they'll try to sell it to you. So here's the fun part. Let's make something simple. Um, I'm going to show you all how to do a design and then I, how many of you are on your desktop now and are able to, okay, so let me hover. Okay, she's on. Who else is going to be making a flyer with me? Okay, that will work. Let's get started. All right, so something I think is super cool where it has create design, you have a few options. So if you click that button, don't go right away to the design. Uh oh. What you can do is you can determine a custom size. So if you made this beautiful basket for your event, you just love it, but the area where you put the card is kind of not a business card size, not a postcard, just something random, but you don't want to miss this opportunity, you can do a custom size right here. So I recently put in this size, so I'll plug it in again. And Canva will, there you go. Now there's a design. Can you guys see the new screen? Okay, now Canva pulled up a design with the layout that I gave it. So now when you print this or you send it to a printer, it will be the correct size. So again, create design, you can do that. Um, let's see what else we have. You can edit a photo. So if you just wanna add a photo to edit it, thank you. Then you can do that. And give me a second, y'all, I'm transitioning. You can take a photo. So if you got this really good photo, hold on, me mute. This really great photo at an event and you're just, sorry. And you're just determined. I think I'm muted. Okay. And you're just determined to use the design um, or use the picture, then you can edit the photo directly. Give me one second.
Can you all hear me? On the Zoom? Yeah. Okay, good. I switched over so the people in person could see everything that you guys are seeing. Okay, so we're going to design, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay, so we're going to, I want you all to follow along with me, but I wanted to show you the different options when you design. Even up here, you can see as I scroll, we can make cards, we can make brochures and infographic. There are so many different things you can do and there are even designs that um, have motion to them. So another thing to remember when you're in Canva, don't limit yourself. You do not have to start from scratch. Um, you can be creative, have fun and have something to enjoy. So, okay, if you're on canva.com, go with me to social media to size. So I'll walk you through it. Let's go. Okay, hold on. I left my mouse. Okay, create design. Oh, I have a touch screen. Why am I struggling with this? Yeah, excuse me. I'm struggling for no reason. All right, see, Instagram pose, um, design, whichever. Let's type in social media. And I do that because just a tip. When you do social media, the formatting isn't the same for every site. So Facebook is different from Instagram, it's different from Twitter, and it changes how people interact with your posts. Like Instagram was, will straight up not even post your photo if it doesn't fit their dimensions. Facebook will kind of condense it or make it look different, but just keep that in mind. So I always use social media just to be safe. So let's go to social media. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through what it looks like, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make the flyer that I made earlier. We'll see if I can match it. Um, okay, so here we go. Now, when you're in the social media page, what you should see are all these options. Again, don't be overwhelmed. It's super fun. So you got templates, templates, church. I want to see flyers about church. Okay, a little, little dry, but <laughs> the point is Jesus. So we can, we can jazz it up, make a little Kojic you know throw some coach on it but that's basically the point i want to have a flyer about church there we go maybe a flyer about music because maybe we're having a revival of musical event now you got you know kind of this new music vibe um things like that next we have the elements button this is every single thing you might need um shapes i want to put a square on here you can drag it over or you can just click it and it'll pop up and then what you can do is you can edit the color, any color you want. I like color codes because that way I know I'm matching a color that I need to use. Um, but here we go. So this is that palette that we made. Remember, we went into the brand kit, even though we don't have the paid version, we were able to make a color palette. So those same colors you see here follow you right into Canva. So if you have three colors that you use for your church and it's like we always use these colors for every flyer, add them to your brand kit and they'll be easily accessible and you can easily integrate them to your design. Another thing, you see I have two items up here and they give me the option to change all. So if I have like 30 circles and I'm like, look, I messed around and put the wrong color blue in and I gotta change them, push change all and it'll change all of the items that are one color to the other color. So just some shortcuts. Um, uploads. So this is where you would, as it says, upload a photo or an item that you want to use. So uh, Kansas flag is relevant, but I'm going to go with this photo I have of a mother and her child. So it's a stock photo, y'all. I wasn't sleeping with nobody. But we're going to take this picture and I'm probably going to enlarge it, you know, mess with the corners, bring it in a little bit, make it bigger, um, just so we can kind of see it more. There we go. Okay, so that's my upload. I had this, I got it from my desktop. You'll see this button here, record yourself. That is convenient if you're doing a presentation. So if I wanted to, if I couldn't make tonight and I wanted to record myself doing a design, I could do that with this record yourself button. And you'll notice we're in the free version and it's an option. So definitely take advantage of it. Um, so I'll leave that picture up and we can mess with later. Text, hundreds of text options. I'm not going through all of them. There are so many and they're fun. So again, if you see a crown, that's pro. That means that it's paid. So uh, for example, if you take this pro feature, it'll ask you to try it for free. And if you say, you know, no, I'm, I don't wanna try for free, I'm fine. What it'll do is, I think it should allow you to use it. I'm not sure. 
normally it would let you use the font. That's different. Normally it would let you use the font anyway, and you would just pay for it when you export it. But we'll see um, what the difference is with that one. Styles, again, all these different color boards, a lot of things to help you. So I'm gonna go to more really quickly. Here you have audio. You can record five seconds of audio. What I've done before is I've grabbed audio from pastor preaching, and then I'll put a still image of him, maybe like a motion of him really being passionate. And you put that audio with the image, and that makes a more engaging social media post. Or you can put that in your church newsletter and people can really, you know, oh, I missed that part of the sermon and it could be more impactful. So, you know, with us communicating through design, we have to be intentional. It's online. There are a lot of other things that grab people's attention. So we want to spice things up. Um, I'm going to get lost in the weeds of this app. It is great, but we came on here to make a, an image to do a design together. So I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to pull this up. And we're going to walk through this design in probably 10 minutes or less. Y'all think we can do it? Yep. Mother Rosa said we have to. No, I'm just messing around. <laughs> we have a choice, y'all. Okay. So first thing, we see this text here. Super easy. Let's pull text. Pick any text you want. Um, for those of you who are following along, I'm going to choose what they already have just because it's easy. And what I'm going to do is the text will pop up on the screen. I'll use that image to drag it down. And let's see, what do we want to say? Church of God in Christ. It makes sense, right? Select all. Okay, so up here, I'm going to make my font smaller. You know, it's like, hey, it doesn't need to be that big. Like big things, we all that. Church of God in Christ. Okay, perfect. How many of you were able to do that? Well, how many of you were trying to and were able to pull that up? Any success? Okay, I'll keep going. You guys just unmute for those of you who are following. So text effects, super cool. A bit better than what you can do in your Word document. You have shadow, which really makes the words pop out. You have lift, which is kind of a cleaner way. Hollow. Splice, echo, neon is really popular now. And you have glitch, which kind of hurts my eyes. So I don't mess with that too much. You know. Now, one of the better effects, one of the ones I really like is the curved effect. It just kind of adds a little touch to it. So I'm saying throw this over across, boom. You're halfway to a logo. No, but that's just another option. Did you see it? I'll demonstrate again, Pastor Dwight, on the screen. So you go from no effect, you go to the effects up here, see? Then this window will pop up here. I'll close it. Oh. Effects. Then you have your text and you push curve. And oh. you control you control the curve. So if you want it to curve the other way, you just move the numbers. You want it straight, keep it there. You want it curved up, go the other way. It's really a game changer. Oh. So <laughs> Pastor Dwight's excited. So it, it really does help you to kind of you know change up your design so it doesn't look so plain and so it stands out so i'm going to make mine straight just because i'm trying to um replicate what i made earlier okay and then i'm going to hollow some of the words and then i'm going to copy this because that's way easier than doing it again push the duplicate so this is another little key duplicate and church of god in christ let's make this one let's go ahead and give it a lift but make it bold or fill it in okay then i'm going to do that like three or four times um I'll do one set and I'll show you all how. Hollow, then copy that, check, duplicate, scroll down, give a little more space, and then lift. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group all this. So I'm gonna drag my mouse to select all of it. And then you see when you select more than one item, that group button shows up, it's under the M in the sign, but there's a group button. Push group, and now I can move all of these at once. So let's say, let's just do Church of God in Christ. And I'm not going to make this all over again, so I'm going to copy it. Boom. Church of God in Christ. And then one more time, because I want it to go off of the screen. Bloop. Church of God in Christ. And then there we go. So we got the Church of God in Christ going up and down on the page. Now what you want to do is you might want to add some color to it. Maybe you want these to be red. So the color you have to do individually, but... You can add color to your design. Um, those couple flash, don't do that. 
but just showing you, you can add all these different colors. And again, you can go back to your brand kit right here and add the colors that are a part of your brand. So it matches all the other flyers that you have for your church service. Okay, so that's step one. Now we're far across what I have up top. Next, I wanna add a photo. This is the inspiration, so to speak. It's just something I made like a fake Bible study flyer. So if we go down to the next page, we see we need a picture in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push more, so I know there's more, and go to photos. These are photos that Canva actually provides for you. Um, a lot of them, I will say this, when you make these in Canva, go ahead and read their terms of use because they have regulations. Like if you design a book cover in Canva, there's technically a limit to how many copies you can print depending on what assets you use from Canva. If you upload your own photos and you know you get your a font that you paid for individually, you have a bit more leeway, but if you're just grabbing all of Canva's items, you um, have to be careful about how you reproduce them is what I'm trying to say. So just something to keep in mind. I don't want anybody going to prison because you know, they try to have a come up off Canva, but just something to keep in mind. On the flip side, you can sell your work or your creations to Canva. So it's pretty good. So I, um, it's other than my recently used, but I think I just searched for pastor. Let's see what we get. Pastor. Okay. So we got pastor. Um, do I have? Okay. Here we go. He looks like a pastor. Oh, so his background is already removed. I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to go back to the recent one. I know it works. And I'm just going to use this as a background photo. So you just drag the photo to enlarge it. And that way it's over the whole screen. Okay. So I'll do a few other things just to make sure we can get the stuff done. Let's choose another picture. Let's choose um, here. Let's search. search. See what they give us. Here we go. Holy hand. All right. One feature I like, you can do a lot of things with this. Go to effects for photos and you can edit the picture. So beyond touching it up, there was a blemish. You can also try these add-ons. I like duo tone. Just push C all, and then you can change the color on the photo. So I think it'll come up. I chose mustard. I can go even further and click those little adjustment buttons. And if I'm like, okay, I want this with the reddish color. Now I have different undertones. That's kind of harsh, but that just shows you that's a bit calmer. That I can see on an actual flyer. So let's put this picture at the bottom, you know, night of worship. Throw that down there. Now you click on the square and where it has here background color, click on that. Canva will pull the colors from your photo. So you don't even have to do any searching. So you pull the colors from your photo, put it up, boom. We're halfway to a flower, y'all. Go to text. I'm gonna use this one because it's free. Here we go. Let's change it from sparkle to worship. Worship. Okay, here we go. This is a flyer that you can use. Let's add some words. Um, see you online Sunday. Put that right there, change the font, make it white. See you online Sunday. Elements. Um, let's say we have a Facebook Live. Here we go. I searched for it recently. So Facebook Live icon. Here we go. So now people know the you online Sunday, Facebook Live. What I'm gonna do is make a copy of this. And let's make our Facebook handle. So the at symbol in front of the name is your Facebook handle. And I'm gonna say any church page move that right up here let's center everything uh oh there any church page and this is where the effects come in so this font's kind of hard to read in the yellow background so what i would do is i would lift it 
I might even make it a different color or make this photo a little darker. So I'm gonna lift this and then something else I like to do, I go to elements. Um, let's exit out of that. Grab a square, stretch it out. And I'm gonna make it black. <coughs> and you just kind of fade it. See how the white stands out now? The white text. And I'm going to bring it down to here. That way you can still see their hands and everything, but it's a lot easier to read. So, I mean, it needs a little love, but let's do the position. Let's put it back behind the logo. For all intents and purposes, you just made a flyer for your next church event in under 20 minutes. <laughs> and you would just fill it in with. Um, some other kind of greeting and the actual handle of your church. And then voila, you're done. So we only have a few minutes left, but I wanna make sure that I answer any questions that you all have um, about follow-up or anything like that. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them about Canva or about design in general. Did anyone follow along or try to make their own flyer while I was talking? You did? Okay. Can I let you share your screen? Are you that number there? You said what? Oh, okay, okay. So he's doing, he did his on the computer, but he's on Zoom through the tablet. Okay, can I see what you came up with? It's a work in progress, y'all, but Oh, that's cool. I, let's see what works. There we go. Can you guys see this? I think it's pretty neat. I don't know. Yeah, I can see it. If I zoom in. So he did the white color. He wasn't able to finish because I was moving fast, but I like it. My uh, That didn't do it justice, but he basically had the worship. He just went with a highlighted font and then he had the people at the bottom. So that was pretty awesome. Okay. Well, does anyone else have any questions about, again, Canva or the process or have any questions about design for your church ministry? I am not a design guru necessarily, but again, as far as the Canva app goes, I do feel pretty comfortable. So just let me know. Sister Rob here. Is, I came on late, so I may have missed what you said at the beginning. Will this be available to review at a later date so I can stop and look and rewind? because I have to go real slow. Okay, no problem. Yeah, and, and again, I, I did apologize for that before I started. I do talk fast and I was excited, so I'm sure it was a blur. This is being recorded, so we can make this um, available. And then Canva, like I said, has a lot of resources themselves that will literally walk you through each part of making a design. So yes, this entire session will be available for you to replay and to follow step-by-step. Step. It will. Are there major differences between Canva and a PowerPoint making that kind of a, I mean, there are a lot of people that kind of go with PowerPoint or even Google something on Google. Google Slides. Google Slides, yeah. Yeah, so if you do an entire presentation, Canva does allow you to create presentations. And what I would say is, and we'll go there now. I forgot I'm not sharing my screen. We have a few more minutes. Um, so the presentations in Canva is just a bit more dynamic. So the difference is you would have to download this but I believe you can still present. So you could go into your Canva account, make a presentation, like use their template to make one and then push present and um, present your presentation, like pull this up during the meeting versus pulling up the Google Slides or the Excel or the PowerPoint and it would have the same effect. Now mine, obviously I, there was nothing on it. So there was nothing for you to see, but what I did was I went in, I chose a template uh, let's choose this one. One of 25. This is a full apply all 25 pages. Push present. I'm in the meeting. They're like, hey, we need you to do something. I push present and I'm ready to go. And I don't know about you. I don't know your level, but this would have taken me a long time to do in PowerPoint or in Google Slides. And now this looks like I know what I'm doing. I didn't do a thing, but, you know, change these photos and put actual photos of people and things that we're talking about in there. That took what? Yeah, 
Yes. There is another one my daughter-in-law uses that has the word monkey in it. I can't remember. Pick monkey? What it is. Yes. That's is one there of, a big difference? I've never heard of pick monkey. I was probably confusing it with Pixabay. Pick monkey I haven't heard of. I know of be funky, which allows you to edit photos. But no, I haven't heard of pick monkey. I, with Canva, like I said, it's a lot of varieties. I don't know if PicMonkey has like literally thousands of templates already made for you, but that's right. all for Canva. Like if you're I still do, on Instagram. I do, know right. when, I do know when my son was working with students at the high school level and he told me he had them use Canva to make some of their productions for class. He taught a career thing. So it's not a new thing, I know, because he's been gone from that for a while. Yes, it's it's been a while for a while, a, a while been around for a while. Excuse me. It is very useful, but they are always coming out with new things. Like whenever Instagram or social page shifts in what they offer their audience, um, Canva will be up like within the next week with an opportunity. Like they pre that present option or option to record yourself that's new, um, or the Instagram Reels and Stories, all of those things. So yeah, it's a pretty good tool. But I don't know about the Pick Monkey one. I'm sorry. I, I'm honestly, and I don't know about anybody else on here, you're probably a much higher level than I am, but I want something that's easy to understand. I don't have to research YouTubes on everything. It's there on the site. And it looks like what you're describing is pretty simple. It is. Um, if you go to search and do like birthday card, it can take a lot of the work out of the process for you. And this is just the free version. Like I use the paid version and it's, it makes it a breeze. So here you go. Here's a birthday card. Now this says paid, of course, because it looks nice, but you could literally substitute this with a picture of uh, grandchildren, you know, whoever change the words, best wishes and change the colors to their favorite color. And you have your own personalized card. So it, it's as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. If you want something that's really personalized, it'll get more difficult. But if you literally want to go in and just make this your own by adding family photos and changing the name, you can be done with that and push, um, I don't want to publish the Pinterest, but you can do that part and then put it in a Facebook group, schedule it. If you want to share it just with your family, you guys have a private Facebook group, you can do that. Um, you can download it to send to the printer. You can email it to someone. So it is, I can say Canva can be very simple. I like to try different things in it and probably make it more difficult, but it, it can be a one, two, three app for sure. Thank you for the questions. Okay, well, thank you all for joining. I think we are out of time, but in the next, what time is it? The next 10 to 15 minutes, our evening service will be starting.